Hey, it's me again. First thing I want to tell you is I don't drink and I don't recommend drinking alcohol. All right. So to, in this video, we're going to talk about the liver, uh, specifically how to reverse a fatty liver. Couple facts about the liver. The liver is about three and a half pounds. It's huge. It's on the right side of your body. It goes all the way up here and it's right through here. Okay. It has over 500 functions. It does everything from immune control, digestion, detoxification of, of chemicals, uh, building up of proteins. Uh, it does so many things. It's an amazing, miraculous organ. It has uh, 50,000 to 100,000 small little units of, of cells that help do the work. Um, you really could be functioning pretty good in your body and have 90% of your liver destroyed or dysfunctional. So a lot of times the liver will not show up until n greater than 90% of it's destroyed. So you can't always go how you feel with the liver. But some of the symptoms with a, a real bad liver issue is you get bloating, you have right shoulder pain through here, your eye, whites of your eyes turn yellow, there's a lot of skin issues, itching on the bottom of the feet and the palms of the hand, uh, basketball belly, like your protruding belly. Um, but you can really predict the, the health of a liver by the person's lifestyle habits. So there's several stages of liver damage that occur. Uh, the first one is um, from inflammation. Um, inflammation where it could come from a virus, but it also could come from bad eating or alcohol. So every time you drink, it creates a trauma, kind of a whiplash, because you're killing liver cells when you're doing that. Every time you take Tylenol or medication, you kill liver cells. So it's has a lot of damage. Even some of the medications uh, like Lipitor, for example, will severely stress the liver and increase the liver enzymes by 500%. So one of the big side effects from the key, from the, key uh, the medication is supposed to lower your cholesterol, which basically has everything to do with the liver, ends up destroying your liver. It's kind of insane. So you have an inflammatory condition. You, then you have fatty deposits that lodge into the liver. So over time, the liver can be replaced with fat. Um, many people with bellies out to here have a fatty liver. If they just had an ultrasound, they'd be able to identify that. But it's very hard to detect um, chronic liver problems unless you do a biopsy because it doesn't always show up on a blood test. So over time, when you have this inflammatory state of continuing damage in the liver because of bad habits, you develop scar tissue. And that leads into something called cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is the liver that is filling up with uh, a fibrous, fibrous tissue that's making it dysfunctional and you lose the function of the liver. But again, you can get away with only a small portion of the liver working before you even notice a lot of the symptoms. So just because you are feeling it doesn't mean anything. All right. So, so that's what happens with the liver. Um, when the liver swells up because there's not a lot of space, it could put pressure on the heart and create a lot of heart arrhythmia issues, a lot of skip beats. It can create high blood pressure, uh, increased pulse rate. Why? Because the liver is right next to the heart and it's going to compress in the heart. When the person sleeps on their left side, if they have an enlarged liver, it will compress the heart and make it hard to breathe and sleep at night. So liver cases tend to, to sleep better on the right side of their body than the left. But so that's, that's one thing. Secondly is <clears throat> the liver is the, one of the only organs in the body that can completely 100% regenerate. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is it takes a long time to regenerate the liver of cells. It could take up to three years. But I think the worst recommendation for people is everything in moderation because you cannot heal the liver having a moderate amount of junk food to the diet. Because again, if you're drinking every night or every other day or even once a week, it could take you one, two, three, four days for that liver to recover. Um, and so you never really let it recover. So it's the accumulation of letting the liver recover and heal that helps it regenerate. So it takes a long time. I had someone do my liver enhancement program and they lost all this weight, but they called me up and said, Dr. Berg, your liver enhancement doesn't work because I did it for two weeks. I lost the weight and then the weight came back. Come to find out, 
in their mind, they thought they're going to heal the liver in two weeks. That was a miscalculation. <laughs> they need to do it for a lot longer until that liver heals. So, um, so that's, that's one thing. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate the things that are destroying the liver. Now, alcohol is a, probably the top thing that destroys the liver. And I do not agree with the so-called recommendations that you can get away with drinking every night. That does not work. It creates damage on the liver. Um, I don't want to get into that. I think you're already, that's kind of uh, common sense. But what I want to tell you is what to do to get this fat out of the liver. Number one, stop the things that are destroying the liver and add the things that will create a healthy liver. One of the most powerful things that will do it are the bitter vegetables, the ones that don't taste good. The, most, the more bitter, the better, like the collard greens, mustard greens, the kales, the spinaches. Those are really good for liver regeneration. The radishes are really good for the liver, and you, start, you have to start consuming those on a regular basis. So the other thing is that um, the liver does not do well with deep fried foods, but it does need certain oils. The types of fats that are good for the liver are the medium chain triglycerides. Now, what does that mean? Like the coconut oils. The coconut oil is one of the best things as far as the fat to cook in and to consume to help a liver because it doesn't seem to um, strain the liver at all. It takes the stress off the liver. The ones that distrain the liver are like the corn oils that you would buy at the store or of course the hydrogenated oils. Those are really, really bad. So we want a healthy liver. Butter is actually a medium chain triglyceride too, so that would be okay to consume and that takes the stress off the liver. So um, bitter vegetables. Uh, the other thing that's really good for the liver to clean out some of the toxic waste would be apple cider vinegar and some of your water. So if you take a, like a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, put it in your water and consume that a few times a day, that is really good to strip off the fat off that liver. So as you consume these vegetables over time that have a lot of the B vitamins too, like especially like vitamin B2, choline, folate, all those key B vitamins that help the liver regenerate, over time the liver will get better and better and better and better, but you're just going to have to uh, not drink or not drink so much. One of the replacements that I like for the uh, alcohol would be the kombucha tea. You can get it from the health store. Uh, kombucha tea is, it creates a similar effect to alcohol. You feel very relaxed and um, calm. And again, people drink to relax. So that would be one substitute and it's really good for the liver. But the main thing is the vegetables. Um, in this product I have, it's called the Whole Cruciferous Food. I created a blend of the garlic, turmeric, radish, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, uh, parsley. Parsley has the most vitamin A, the most nutrition of any vegetable, and number two is kale. Uh, kale is not quite as strong as parsley, but it's easier to consume kale in the kale shake. So I recommend at least at one kale shake a day for your liver. But this is a good combination of cruciferous vegetables that for those people that cannot consume that amount of vegetables, and they need some supplement type help with the liver. Um, so those are some tips on reversing a fatty liver. It's doable, but you have to take an aggressive approach. You have to keep creating the liver. Give it time. Have patience. That's why we call you a patient. I'm being sarcastic. And um, so go ahead and do that, and I will see you in the next video.